paradox of streets dead or alive before understanding this paradox let us understand difference between road and street a road is anything that connects two points while streets are public ways which has building or houses on one or both sides which is perpendicular to the avenue nowadays people informally use the word road as a synonym of street but street is a paved public thoroughfare in a built environment which has shops stores houses or trees along both sides of it street facilitates the public interaction a road may also have buildings on either sides but its main function is transportation route only so a road is just a way of getting from one place to the another but streets exist for the interaction and movement of the people now we have known the difference between the roads and the streets let us come to the main topic of streets dead or alive from paradox to paradox here are some of the examples of streets on one side is dead on another side it's alive but before knowing whether street is dead or alive let us find out what brings life in the cities and street stand for what has happened to life in the cities in the middle of the previous century a new paradigm of urban planning emerged to answer a growing population and a new demands the city needed to be built faster and bigger improvements in the technology and the demands to develop large areas all at once contributed to the tendency to plan cities from helicopter perspective in this process life was forgotten here are few examples how is supposed life supposed to emerge in places like this how do we meet other people in places like this cities have grown impressively monumental buildings have been created traffic has been planned but people's need have often been left out from newcastle to jakarta from los angeles to beijing throughout the past 50 years several architectural theories have dealt with this problem we remember to include people in architectural renderings but when those images become reality people seems to be more or less absent why we have often forgotten how to prioritize life in the cities there are hardly any invitations to walk meet converse be provoked and inspired in these sprawling cities 
the result is often a lifeless city. How can life be invited back? Knowing how people interact help us understand how we use this city. To invite people, we should respect and examine the small but important elements that make life in cities flourish. The climate is comfortable. Details are present. Uses overlap. Senses are stimulated. Indoor meets outdoor. Life unfolds. How can good architectural planning and practices be applied to streets where life has been forgotten? What type of architecture should we choose in order to enable life to unfold in the cities? This or that? By studying the activities like necessary activity where individual walks for specific destination not involved in any other type of social activity and only focus on the specific destination which is clear frame in his mind and the person quickly wants to go there. Second is the optional activity where person give the time in streets through watching, thinking, or deciding to buy, and it's not a planned activity by today. The third is the social activity is an essential focus to giving a lively environmental space like you see people walking in the streets and suddenly stop for talking or sometimes they sit and watch. Throughout history, human beings have been dedicated to creating a small, intimate, safe and friendly places. It's only in the last century that we have built spaces in a faster and a bigger way. The human scale has been forgotten in this process. This has created a striking difference or a paradox between really big and impersonal and a very small and intimate. From a distance of 100 meters, we are able to see and detect human movements. Places like Piazza Navona in Rome and stadiums are designed in this scale. At about 25 meters, you can recognize facial expressions and dominant mood. Places like neighborhood squares and theaters are designed in this scale. At about 7 meters, you are just able to talk to with one another. People gatherings are typically organized within this range. At a range of 3 to 2 meters, you are able to have a meaningful social conversations. Places like sitting arrangement in living rooms are designed in this scale. At about 1 meter, you are able to have an intense personal dialogues with close friends and families. The family dining table is typically arranged to this scale. 0.5 meters and below are needed for expressing care and love. How do we implement this knowledge for getting a paradigm shift from street dead to alive? Let us see some example in the city. The concept of happy streets we felt energizes and joy it becomes a part of routine to wake up early in every Sunday morning, go out and enjoy our happiness in our way. An event in which people of all age groups enjoy 
a platform of recreational activities on a vehicle free roads soon started and quickly follow all around the world it was adopted with great zeal and enthusiasm across the world the concept initially originated in streets of colombia london new york shanghai belgium los angeles and many more in india apart from prominent cities like pune mumbai ahmedabad calcutta hyderabad we saw another city paving its way into a life like nagpur so how can we assure that a street is dead or alive a street is dead doesn't mean dead people are walking across the street it is just these people senses are dead. so how can we evoke their senses across the street you can evoke their senses by looking at the happiness what they have got their children's play happiness is a soul food planning every move will create an happiness swinging in the rhythm will also create an happiness and evokes our senses energizing our spirits also evokes our senses happiness is participating whole heartedly life can be seen by being a party standing out in a crowd shows the liveliness channelizing our energy also shows how life can unfold sometimes just letting go can also show the life in the streets Here is an example of 102 years old man whose senses have been evoked by the stimulus on the streets like blowing a trumpet buying a flower dancing This is how life unfolds on the street